Hi everyone, I'm so excited because today I get to talk about one of my favorite topics, which is King Richard. So before, I didn't talk about the film because I didn't want there to be any spoilers at all because maybe you hadn't seen the film, maybe you wanted to see the film, right? Okay, regardless of all of that, I want to tell you some things about the film that were actually true to life and that actually, of course, the film is all true to life, but I want to tell you specifically my experience and how it happened. Okay, so one of the questions that I get most often about the King Richard film, I get this all the time, it feels like every day, is the film true? Is it true to life? And I always tell people, okay, so here's the answer, drum roll please. Here's the answer, is that it is true to life. And I think that's why so many people really love the film because it's a true story. And of course, there's lots of fiction out there, so many movies that are amazing too without it being you know, a real life story and memoir. But this is definitely true to life. It's definitely my family's experience and definitely um, my experience and on the court and off of the court. And that's what made it so special. It was about my whole family, not just my dad, not just me, not just Serena. It was about the whole family. And anyone who has family will relate to that. So some examples of some true to life things. Okay, so some examples of some things that were true to life. So first of all, there's, there's these, this whole scene, these whole scenes where my dad, you know, I'm about to play junior tennis and my dad isn't sure if I should play. So in real life, one, of the, one thing that didn't make the film is that I had to beat my dad before I was allowed to play junior tournaments. So this is like even more backstory that like you can't put everything in the film. So I had to beat my dad before I got to play a junior tournament. That was always the rule. Like when I got to beat him, I got to play a tournament because I was really wanting to play tournaments. And so I remember like we were at a park in Long Beach one night because we trained into the night too. And I remember when it happened, I think it happened much sooner than he expected. And I think I was like eight years old maybe. And so I was like, okay, yes, I get to play. Guess what, no. He's like, no, not yet. And I'm like, wait a minute, that was a rule you made up and I just did it. So I remember I had to wait at least one year, more year before he let me play tournaments. And um, so in the movie, we talk about like this whole process of like me being allowed to play a tournament and finally it happens and I'm so happy. My take on the film, let's just back up here. So this all started out as a script. And I remember my older sister, she kept calling me, Isha. She's like, well, you guys know Isha. She says, you know, I want you to read the script. I want you to read the script. I want you to read the script. And I was like, ah, I don't want to read the script. And she kept begging me to read the script. And it was over a period of months. And I'm not sure why I was so resistant to it, but I just didn't want to read the script. I was a little sister just being a brat, basically. And <laughs> Finally, she just kept begging me to read the script. So finally, I was on the airplane once, and I was like, I'm going to read this script. Ugh. So I start reading the script on the plane, and I remember reading the script, and I started laughing. And then there was moments where I got, like, teary. And I was like, I know exactly what happened, like, because I was there when these things happened in my life, and still I am laughing, and I'm getting, like, emotional. And that's when I knew that this could be an amazing project and a great film. And I knew it was the real deal. So thanks, Isha. Sorry for being a brat. So a lot of people will ask me, how involved were you and your family in this film? And so we were involved, obviously, from the level of when it was just a script. And I think that was so important because we were able to really shape the film and really get everything right. So we added so many personal touches and so many personal details right down to like the exact same cars that we drove and the right colors and different things that our family would do together, small little things that we would do together, things that I didn't remember that my older sister remembered. So for example, in the film, I remember now that my dad, we would pass by a cemetery and he would say, let's blow the horn for all the people that's gone. And I remember the fourth or fifth time that I watched the film, I actually finally remember, because I was so young when all that stuff happened. So just like these little tiny personal touches that made the film like very much our own. Um, one of the areas that we worked our hardest on was to make sure that my mom was really the person that she is and was represented that way. And I, we were so proud, of course, of the performance of all the actors, but of course, the performance by Anjanu was 
just unbelievable. She really got my mom. She got the essence of it. And so we worked really hard to make sure that every member of our family was heard and represented. Super basic question, but people ask me, did you like it? <laughs> and I'm like, yes. Because I have to be honest, like you can actually not, there, there have been times where people have had films or projects about themselves or books or whatever it may be that they didn't like. And I'm happy to say, I love the film. And that's a really special moment. That's something that's probably around forever, right? That you actually like it. And I think there's also been projects I've been a part of, and I'm not gonna mention any names that I didn't like. And I decided to never watch. So yes, it's amazing to be a part of a project that you really like. And I think what made it special, obviously, were the performances by the actors and actresses. What was really interesting is that all the actors and the whole cast, they were like family on set. So they, their family, our family became their family, like when they were on set and they were like sisters and moms and dads and all those things, it was actually real life. Like uh, Demi and Sanaya would walk around holding hands around the set and they felt so close to Will and they would call him Mr. Will. And so it was, it was very amazing. My older sister was on the set. You have to remember this was filmed during COVID. So a lot of times I was either on tour, playing in a sports bubble, remember those? And it was very difficult to be on set. So uh, my older sister, thank God, was on set all the time. And that really helped to shape and form the film. And they got so close to Isha and also my other sister, Andrea. And to this day, we all talk and we still all get together when we're in LA. All, this, all the actresses that played sisters, they still get together and then all of our sisters will be together. The last time we got to do that was in March, which wasn't that long ago. We were all in LA and we just had such a great time like uh, playing games, honestly, and telling stories and just being together. What was so important for us in this film is that we actually had tennis players who looked like they could play tennis. And I'm so proud of Sanaya and Demi. Shout out to my girls for really putting in the effort and the dedication to learn how to play tennis. And not only learn how to play tennis, but to look like Serena and I and how we played tennis. Not easy. Um, I was especially proud of Demi too. There's this scene where she enters herself in a junior tournament because she's tired of waiting to play. That actually happened when Serena entered herself in her first junior tournament. And she's on the court and she really gets Serena at it, Serena's attitude down packed. So that was really cool to see. But they put in so much effort for six months to learn how to play tennis and it's actually not a lot of time to learn how to play. So, so proud that they actually made it look real. Never been done before in movies or cinema, to be honest. So it's a cinema first. I think everyone, like when we were starting and read the script, we're all like, oh my gosh, maybe we might make it to the Oscars. I have never been to the Oscars. I had never been there. And I just didn't see a pathway to that. I just didn't even dream about that. So uh, of course, we're all waiting for the day when the Oscar nominations came out. And there it was, I was so happy. <laughs> so exciting to just to be able to go and of course we had like lots of nominations that was such an honor to be nominated in so many categories uh, best supporting actress best actress best film best original song all of those different areas it was like wow what a dream uh, I think secretly uh, I personally hope for best film and of course um, best best actor that was incredible as well so the, the film just, I, I couldn't have imagined this. You just can't imagine things in life. I remember my sister, my wise sister, Serena said, when you take your opportunities, more will come. It's about taking that first step in life, right? Taking that first opportunity. For us, that was picking up a racket. And once you pick up and you start swinging in life, you never know where you're gonna go. So if you have not seen the King Richard film, I recommend it. If you have a family, you'll relate to it. Everybody's got a family, right? And, you know, it's been the best feedback. Instant Classic is one of the most flattering feedbacks I've, I've ever seen from lots of people. So check it out. I hope it motivates you uh, or at least brings you some joy, right? And more than anything, what I'd like to know from you is what other spoilers or what would you like to know from behind the scenes? And also what parts of the film would you like 
my you know insight on or background so let me know because i'm going to do more videos and more content around our wonderful film that we got to share with you guys so of course i'll see you next week take care be well i'll see you soon